Hello, everybody. Okay, so you probably can see me, but I can't see see um, the thing me on the, doing the doing the video because of the sun, I guess. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm out here rocking the dogs. Look at the doggies grazing. Um, they graze all the time. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know. We've tried different dog foods. We've I've googled it. I've done. We took them to the vet, and I don't know. Um, I don't know. So anyway, um, so what I'm gonna be just discussing today is um the comfort zone. Um, we all have a comfort zone that we do not want to step out of because we are comfortable there. <clears throat> We like it, um, and that that's our zone. Yeah, I just got out of the shower, and I don't like putting my hair up while it's wet. Because it's so thick. <clears throat> my hair feels like, is like horse hair, so thick and stuff. Um, and I don't want to. Your comfort zone, okay? Um, we like our comfort zone. We like how everything is there. We're comfortable. But the thing about it is, is that you're in your comfort zone right now. <clears throat> and with an online business and being in your comfort zone, you only can go so far in your business before you can't go any far further because there's other skills that you have to do. And, you know, mastering while you're doing it that you're not doing so you won't be as successful like, you know, a seven-figure earner, um, a millionaire, you know, stuff like that, if that's your dream. Um, and, you know, you got to do what, you have to mimic, you have to mimic um, the people that are successful, the people you want to be like, you got to mimic them. So if they're doing videos, guess what, you got to do videos. If they're doing webinars, guess what? You gotta do webinars. If they're doing public spe speaking, guess what? You need to do public speaking <laughs> because you have certain skills to have to be where you wanna be in life. You know, if you wanna travel, you wanna stay home with your kids and work in an online business, these dogs are like, tangling me up. And well, oh, we're gonna sit down out here for a little while because so I'm gonna do this live and rest because I'm still gonna go up three flights of stairs. That um, I'm just gonna put. Hold on a second. I gotta put you down for a sec. I gotta tie, tie the dogs up. <coughs> But anyway, so, like I said, if you have an online business, <clears throat> okay, like I said, if you have an online business and um, you plan on staying in your comfort zone and see how successful you can get with that, um, I'm here to tell you, you're not going to get very far. Um, <clears throat> if you want to be a main heir or, you know, a seven-figure earner or you know, a five-figure earner or whatever, you got to do what they're doing. So, if they're doing videos, you got to do videos. <coughs> okay, believe me, I I like my comfort zone. Um, but, you know, I was taking a shower. Yes, I've been promoting my business in my comfort zone, and I see how far that's gotten me. That's not gotten me too far. Um... And I realized, you know, that I've been I've been with um, the the entrepreneur online marketing <clears throat> journey for five years. Um, and imagine how much money I could be making whenever I started five years ago making videos. I started my YouTube channel five years ago because I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to do videos <clears throat> and go with video marketing because, like. They, they, you make money fast, okay? If you can get in, you know, overcome your fear with doing videos and stuff like that, they make money fast because 
people see them, they know that, you know, it's not a Photoshop. Um, they know it's a real person. They see the video. And, hey, Vicky, thanks for hopping on. Um, so, with YouTube, once you get so, um, so many subscribers, then YouTube, like, sends you a reward, but they also <coughs> cut you a check. Like, YouTube will pay you, okay, to do videos um, on their you know site and stuff like that once you get so, once you do so many videos and so many subscribers you'll get a letter in the mail um I've, i you know i've actually youtubed it um on how to make money with youtube and um but yeah that's where you have to do videos <laughs> and i'm and you know and i've been really bad on doing videos you know and doing lives and stuff like that i'm gonna try to do better I say that every time. See, I have a good vibe today. It's like I don't know I don't know why I have a really good vibe, but like my energy is really good. I guess because I slept good. I have no idea. Um, even though I had my phone drop in the toilet this morning, and then after I after <clears throat> that happened, I got off the live, was putting my nourish and my coffee so you know I can have the energy for today. And that dumped on the floor before I could get the scoop out of the bag and guess what half of my bag went all over the floor so <laughs> guess what I'm gonna be ordering very soon <laughs> um so yeah like that happened this morning but I, I don't know it's like even though I had th that problem this morning and a lot of people would be like oh you know that I would count that as a bad day it's like da da da, -da because like Usually, whenever something bad happens, like one time after you wake up, then it's like it puts you in a bad mood the rest of the day. I don't know why it does that to people. 